Let's talk about Jenna Abrams, a young American woman who'd share right-wing opinions with her 70,000 Twitter followers. Jenna got into spats with diplomats and celebrities. She had a website, wrote blogs, and was even followed by a former Trump advisor. The problem is that Jenna wasn't real. She was created by an organisation backed by the Russian government to create fake online accounts to, as they put it, conduct information warfare against the US. Oh boy. And it's not just Jenna. According to researchers, nearly half of the Twitter profiles pushing to reopen America when the pandemic hit last year were likely bots, i.e. fake automated accounts. It's unclear who was behind those accounts, but researchers did note it looked like a propaganda machine that definitely matched the Russian and Chinese playbooks. Now, Twitter removes a lot of these accounts, but consider this. By the time Jenna was removed, she'd been featured in media articles here. And here. And here. So how do you combat the Jenners of this world? Well, one, don't share links with subtle typos. Two, do a reverse image search on profile pictures. Three, share info from verified sources. Four, recognise that this is a possible multinational attempt to undermine Western democracy in which the media, tech companies and various nefarious governments are complicit. Five, don't argue with people you don't know. And six, if all else fails, go outside.